Some call him the richest man in the world, but others might call him the king of all controversies. Elon Musk can do a lot of damage with just 140 characters or less. From a slew of billion-dollar lawsuits to angry investors, this is how Elon's Twitter deal is hurting Tesla. And it seems like he's juggling more businesses than he can handle. Tesla investors lost $12 billion in 10 days after one controversial Musk tweet. That's right, folks. And it was all thanks to one of his infamous tweets from back in 2018 about having funding secured to make the company private. A witness testified at a trial over the CEO's liability, and after that, Musk's lawyers claimed billions of dollars in damages at stake in the trial. By the third week in San Francisco federal court, the testimony presented by expert witnesses was directed at his tweet. If anything, it sent Tesla stocks on a roller coaster ride, and investors who held short or long-term positions were weren't really happy about this. The trial revolved around Musk's controversial Twitter post, and investors called a bunch of witnesses. Even a top Goldman Sachs executive backed up their case that the tweets triggered significant fluctuations in Tesla's share price. Not only that, but it also caused trading losses. Now, Michael Hartsmark presented the loss figure to the jury and even testified how Musk's tweet led to consequential harm for investors. But he really didn't talk about how much the plaintiffs sought damage. Images. I mean, the Tesla share price skyrocketed in response to the initial announcement from Musk only to drop as everyone started doubting his take private plan. As Hartsmark said, uncertainty is the kryptonite of investors. On the other hand, Musk seems to think it was a product of unfortunate circumstances rather than poor planning or high hopes. Are you guys listening? What do you think? Any more comments? No, I can't, I can't comment, you know, because it's legal stuff. But I'm, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Uh, we weren't listening. Oh, okay. How'd well, it go? Do you think what, you feel what? good about how it went? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Electric, and that if you made compelling electric cars, people would buy them. Um, also, when, when our competitors advertise for electric vehicles, every time they do that, our sales go up. <laughs> <laughs> so. In fact, he described it as an unequivocal commitment by Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund. Yep, he testified that the funding secured tweet wasn't a lie, and he directed it toward the Sovereign Wealth Fund that was supposed to back up the Go Private plan with billions of dollars. But here's the twist. The billionaire had absolutely nothing in writing, and so investors argued that his tweets violated multiple security laws because his bankers were hardly a part of his Take Private plan. On top of that, Investment banking witnesses confirmed that they were still figuring out how the deal would be structured about a week after the tweet. And as the trial went on, there was a bigger question. Was Elon Musk liable for the investors' losses? While his tweet cost him a spot as chairman of the board, the jury determined that he's not liable for any losses incurred around his infamous tweet. With that said, Musk even testified that he would have sold some of his SpaceX stock to keep his end of the deal. I don't know about you, but I don't think anyone can confirm or deny these hypothetical statements, and many of us are just used to his ambitious commitments that hardly ever turn out as he hoped. I mean, remember when he tweeted that his money was the first in and it'll be the last out? Yeah, that never happened, because the Tesla CEO had to dump billions of dollars worth of stock just to fund his Twitter takeover deal. And while some may think his investments in the social media platform seem to be going smoothly, that might not be the case. Instead, Tesla investors have been put in a pretty tough spot ever since the deal happened. I think in order for us to get to, like, let's say, ultimately getting to like a, tw a $25,000 car, um, uh, th that's, uh, that's something we could, we could do, but it's probably, if we really work really hard, I think maybe we could do that in three years. And Twitter hasn't been doing so well either. Musk said that the social media platform is nearing break even with more controversies coming. It all started in October 2022 when he took over Twitter. It's hardly been a few months and the billionaire is already voicing bankruptcy concerns. To be specific, it's losing $4 million every single day. Now, let's not forget that he acquired the social media platform at a valuation of about 
about $44 billion, and he himself admitted that this was an overestimation of the actual value. He even tried negotiating the deal, but it never worked out, so the Tesla CEO eventually relented and bought Twitter at the original terms. And let's just say it's been chaotic so far. I mean, the billionaires made many new changes around the company, and he even talked about how the past couple of months have been extremely tough, and there are multiple reasons why that's the case. For starters, he turned to mass layoffs the second he took over Twitter, and he didn't even spare the top brass. Even the company's then-CEO, Parag Argawal, was escorted out of his office, and many other Twitter employees willingly quit right after Musk asked them to commit to hardcore work. Now, at first, Twitter had about 7,500 employees before the takeover, and a CNBC report confirmed that the company's full-time employees are now down to about 1,300. However, Musk says that the number is much closer to 2,300. But even then, that's a massive drop. And is it really a coincidence that when he was taking over Twitter, rumors about him firing 75% of the workforce instantly made headlines? If you remember, back then, he literally denied that he'd lay off that many employees. And that's not all. Twitter is also facing lawsuits from a bunch of other entities like landlords, a software provider, a jet company, and an M&A advisory company, to say the least. At one point, things seemed so bad that, rumor has it, Twitter employees were forced to carry their own toilet paper to the office. Can you believe that? Well, it's not like we didn't see this coming, right? After all, like everything linked with Musk, the acquisition was full of drama. And if that wasn't enough, he took it one step further. He locked his Twitter account and went private. Sure, a bunch of your favorite Twitter users probably locked their accounts recently, but the most obvious case was the CEO himself, Elon, with over 127 million followers. And if you think he did this to hide his dramatic tweets and save himself from another truckload of controversies, that's not the case. If anything, he did it to test if the Twitter algorithm had gone awry. Basically, ever since the start of 2023, a bunch of Twitter users noticed something weird on their feeds. It seemed like a bunch of random tweets were filling up their For You page from accounts they weren't following or had never even interacted with. Musk swooped in to take it up on himself to check out the algorithm update. And while he thought he fixed it, a bunch of prominent users, especially the ones in right-wing circles and his Twitter orbit, continued to complain. The algorithm change pretty much dropped their engagement. And that is when the rumor spread that users who locked their accounts saw a lot more engagement. And I'm talking about likes and retweets. Now, here's the deal. Normally, this would be the total opposite. And it's exactly why people had public accounts in the first place. So, to sort out this mess, Musk took it upon himself to test it out. But what's weird is that this is a one-user experiment. How reliable is it going to be? And he owns the platform, so you can't tell me this isn't going to be biased. Having said that, it definitely seems like he's got a lot to juggle to keep things stable at Twitter and at Tesla. But here's my question for you. What's your take on his Twitter takeover deal's impact on Tesla? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how Elon's Twitter deal is hurting Tesla.